I want to create a sweep cut thread along my helix I've already created. So the first thing I need to do is sketch the thread profile in the plane where the helix pierces. In my case, that'll be the top plane. So I'm going to look normal to my top plane. I'm going to sketch in the top plane, and I'll zoom in near the helix. And I'm going to sketch the thread profile. We're going to make a 60 degree thread. I'm going to start with the center line. Then I'll sketch the rough shape of the thread. I'll add some relations and dimensions as I go. So this is going to be a 60 degree included angle thread. I want the thread to be symmetrical about my center line, so I'll hold control. Select the three lines involved in the symmetry relationship and add symmetry. The sketch relations get a bit messy and hard to see, so I'm going to shut them off. And at this point, I'm going to add another center line. across the V's. The center line will be horizontal. and I'm going to lock the center line to the edge of my shaft. These two will be collinear. The reason I do that is I would like the outside of my thread profile to extend beyond the shaft. It just makes it quicker for SolidWorks to make the sweep cut and once in a while if we make the thread profile collinear with the part edge it will leave a surface here which we don't want. So now I'm going to dimension my, the rest of my thread profile. The flat size will be 1 8 times the pitch so I'm creating this for a quarter 20 thread So my flat will be 1 8 times the pitch of 1 over 20. And I'll just display that to four decimal places. The depth of my thread, because it's an external thread, so from this center line to the fl thread flat, will be 0.61343 times the pitch. And again, for a quarter 20 thread, the pitch is 50 thou. I'm going to zoom out. We can see what's happening. And I'll zoom back in on my sketch. I also want a bit of clearance here. This number doesn't matter. So from the center line to the top of my thread profile, I'll make it 5 or 10 thou, just so it clears the part. I can stop dimensioning now, and I don't want any of these dimensions to show up in a drawing, so I'm going to right-click on them, and I'm going to uncheck Mark for Drawing, and they'll go the purple color. So the last thing I need to do is to lock my thread profile to the helix. I could lock this point or this point, but I'm going to lock the center of my thread profile to the helix. So on the horizontal center line, I'm going to right click. I'm going to select midpoint. Hold the control 
and I'm going to select the helix near the end and I'll add the Pierce relationship. My sketch is now fully defined. I can exit the sketch. So this sketch I just created is the profile for my sweep cut and the helix is the path. So I have the profile selected. I'll activate sweep cut. So again, profile selected. Now I'm going to click in the path selection and I can choose it from the drop down feature tree or just out here in the screen I can select the helix. I'll get a preview. I'll say OK. And then I've created a sweep cut thread through my part.